How's it going around? Welcome back to another cooking segment. I'm your host, Jerry Macias, and let's get started. Hello guys, welcome to Monday's Culinary Yards. Today we're going to be making cinnamon rolls, and for that, we have the ingredients right here. We are going to use bread flour. You can make them with AP flour or all-purpose flour. I just, personally, I recommend bread flour. It's going to give you a little bit of structure. Uh, we're also going to have regular refined sugar, salt, instant yeast, and I'll talk about that in a minute, shortening, whole fat milk, vanilla, and eggs. First thing you have to know, we have 10 steps for bread making, and we're going to start off with the first one, mise en place. Very, very important that you scale all your ingredients and gather all your equipment before you even start to mix anything, okay? So mise en place, get all your ingredients together. Second step, it's mixing or kneading. So we're gonna start doing that. I always recommend you put your liquids in first. That way there's nothing that gets stuck to the bottom. So we have the milk. That is uh, 550 milliliters of milk, 15 milliliters of vanilla. And then we have 200 grams of eggs. On top of that, we're gonna add 25 grams of instant dry yeast. We're gonna add 175 grams of sugar, 15 grams of salt, that those were in the sugar. On top of that, we're gonna add a kilogram of flour or a thousand grams. And we're gonna hold on to the fat and I'll explain that one later. All right, and we're gonna start to mix this. Now, because this recipe, because this recipe has a high amount of fat, we are gonna hold on to it until the pickup stage. That means when all the ingredients have come together, then we're gonna add the fat. Okay, so we're gonna wait just a little bit. You look at your bowl, the, it's, it's starting to get all together, so we're gonna go ahead and add the fat. Now at this point, it is it has to need for approximately 20 minutes. It is a long time. I do highly recommend don't crank the, the speed on your machine too high because you end up damaging your machine. Stay on speed two, maybe three, but not more than that. You have to let it uh, mix enough to create a certain amount of gluten. How much gluten? We're gonna do a test called the window pen test. Once the dough passes that test, then it means you have developed enough gluten. So right now we're gonna let it mix and we'll show you what you do. So, because it does take a while for our dough to mix, while it's mixing, let's do a simple icing for the cinnamon rolls, okay? So it's very, very simple. All we have is powdered sugar, about two cups, some vanilla extract, and some water. It's only gonna take about a tablespoon of water, uh, but I just like to able it to, to adjust the consistency. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna add a little bit of the water and the vanilla, and we're gonna whisk it together. We should make a thick lay consistency. Don't leave it too thin, otherwise it's just not gonna cover, not have a nice uh, cover for your cinnamon roll. But as you see, it takes very, very, very little water to use it. And once that's done, just reserve it on the side for when our cinnamon rolls cool down. All right, let's check if our dough is ready. What you're gonna do to check if you have developed enough gluten is that you're gonna take a little piece out. Just by how sticky it is, I know it's not gonna be ready, but what you're gonna do, if you need a little bit of flour, you can also do that. You're gonna gently start to stretch it out with your fingertips without being too rough, because if you're rough, it's gonna tear no matter what, but you should be able to stretch it out without it tearing. So at this point, first of all, it's super sticky, meaning it's not ready. But also, if you try to stretch it, it's just immediately going to start to tear. So that tells you that the gluten in here, it's not strong enough. So it needs more mixing. Okay, so let's go back to the mixing. Okay, we mix it for another 15 minutes. Now let's check if it's, it's done. I have a little piece of dough right here. So you see, immediately the consistency is completely different. It's not sticking to my hands. I'm going to gently stretch it. 
again, this is called a window pane test. So as long as you your dough passes this test, that means you have developed enough gluten. So see, now I'm stretching it and it's getting thin, very thin without it tearing. So that means it's ready. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna spray a bowl. I'm gonna put, put my dough in there. I'm gonna cover with plastic and I'm gonna place it in somewhere that's warm uh, for about 30 minutes until it doubles in size. Once we have that, which is the first fermentation, our third step, we're gonna get to degas the dough. Okay, we're gonna jump onto step number four. Just a reminder, step number three was our first fermentation, also refer as bulk fermentation. So we put our dough in a bowl, we set it on a warm space, and it has doubled in size. That is our first fermentation. Now, the step number four is that we're gonna punch down or degas our dough. Number four. Step number five would be to divide. In this case, we're not gonna do that because uh, these are cinnamon rolls, so it changes a little bit, but um, the next step would be to divide or portion, and then we're gonna do a pre-shape and a final shape. shape. All right, get yourself some flour, just so it's easier to roll it out. For cinnamon rolls, we have to roll it into a square or an attempt of it. Square. All right, so we're gonna brush it with melted butter. All of it, in a good amount. That's good. And then we're gonna sprinkle our cinnamon sugar, a little bit more cinnamon than sugar, all over. Now this is very obviously the easy way to do it. You could potentially, in your mixer, cream some butter with the sugar and the cinnamon and create a spread that you would spread at this point. This is just a faster version. Alright, the next step is to basically roll it like a burrito. So that's why I was saying that the thinner you roll it out, the more layers you're gonna get. Right here at the very end, the whatever's left over, you need to press it down to make sure you seal it and your, your cinnamon rolls don't open up. All right, at this point, we're gonna go ahead and cut them, making sure that they're all the same weight and we're gonna put them in pans. It is very important that when you cut your cinnamon rolls, you make an effort to make them exactly the same size and or weight because that way they proof at the same time and they bake at the same time. So I cut the first one at seven ounces. So I'm gonna make my best effort that they're all around seven ounces. Okay, and we're gonna start to put them in the tray. Once they're all in the pan, we're gonna do the next step, which is the second fermentation. It is gonna take about 30 minutes. So we're gonna put them somewhere closed, covered. You need to cover them, lightly cover them. Don't cover them too tight, because if you do that, you, um, you stop them from growing. So just loosely cover them with plastic, set them in somewhere that's warm and nice, uh, and it's gonna take about 30 minutes. Once they are doubled in size, we're gonna put them in the oven. All right, after 30 minutes, our cinnamon rolls have doubled in size, so we're gonna go ahead and bake them. They are gonna take about 20 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. All righty guys, our cinnamon rolls have been in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes. Do check your ovens, all ovens are gonna be different, and obviously this is an industrial oven. Your oven at home is gonna be totally different, so just make sure you keep an eye on them, okay? Let's take them out. Our cinnamon rolls are now cooled down, so it's time for us to put the glaze on top. This is just a method. You can definitely grab an offset spatula and just rub some in there, but this is the way we like to do it. That's it. Delicious cinnamon rolls. 
All right, guys, there you have it. That is how you make some cinnamon rolls, and I am going to be the first one to try it, so let's give it a try. All right, guys, that was really good. Thank you to Chef Dominguez for teaching us how to make these wonderful um, cinnamon rolls. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.